All right, that projection may not give me chills, but this next story certainly will. The Milwaukee Ballet's version of Dracula is famous all over the world, and they're getting ready to resurrect it next week. Entertainment journalist Ryan Jay stopped by rehearsal to hear from some of the show's creative team. Check it out. Dracula is certainly perfectly timed for Halloween weekend. It's been performed here uh, before at Milwaukee Ballet. What's different this time around? Um, we're just all a little bit older and wiser. The only main difference is we're celebrating David's uh, retirement as a leading artist from the company, and this is one of the roles that he really has taken ownership of. Why did you want to go out and close your career with this role? Um, since since the first time I did it, I, I knew this was for me. This role uh, just suited me, and I felt very comfortable doing it from day one. I mean, the character um, is an is an amazing role. Um, it gives you everything from uh, a, a beginning until the end. So you just go ahead and enjoy it. I just told them I, I have to close it with Dracula. It's just no better role for me. When you first started to create Dracula the Ballet, how closely did you refer to the original Bram Stoker novel? Totally, very close. And the intention was from all of the creative team was to try and stay as close as we could to the book. And we had to make some addition to characters because in Bram Stoker's book, there's an awful lot of men and very few ladies. And so we made some practical choices. <laughs> Dracula has been noted as your most critically acclaimed and most popular ballet. Why do you think so? I think it's the theme. I think it's uh, vampirism in, in particular for this modern day generation. Actually, not even modern, for every generation, has some alluring appeal. We think it's to do with the fact that this iconic character is, is so irresistible. We think it's to do with the sort of whole myth of what vampires do to us, which uh, really sort of highlights just how strange we all are, that we find these things <laughs> so sort of interesting. This ballet, I have an experienced audience that didn't like it. Let's say like they were like, eh, it was, yeah, it's, it's always been, they left the, um, the theater with their um, jaws dropped. So it's, I think it will be the same. It's a real crowd pleaser. Yes, absolutely. It's because Dracula is always hot. Have you ever seen the ugly? He is. <laughs> All right, Dracula premieres a week from today. Uh, there will be a retirement party for the leading actor after the final performance. Uh, that will uh, be also a vampire costume contest and a chance to get your picture taken with the dancers, but tickets for that are sold separately.